Hello and welcome to Women in Gaming. I'm Melissa Ortiz, former professional soccer player for the Colombian women's national team, Olympian, and co-founder of Kickoff Coffee Company. Today, I'll be highlighting some of the stories of the outstanding women in the EA Sports FIFA community. Today, we'll be chatting with Lisa Manley, one of the first women to qualify to the E Premier League. She's also FIFA E Ambassador and EA Commentator. She recently signed for Jesse Lingard's J Ling's eSports organization, and she's an incredible advocate for women in gaming. I'm excited, you must be excited, so let's dive into it. Hello, Lisa, welcome. Hello, hello, I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, I mean, your introduction obviously spoke so much of yourself, so it's just a preview of everything that we're gonna speak about, but to kick things off, Tell us more a little bit about yourself and who is Lisa Manley? Okay, so I'm Lisa Manley. I'm an ex-professional footballer for Fulham and AFC Wimbledon. However, I did get an injury, had to have knee surgery and ended up turning and transitioning into FIFA. So now I am a professional FIFA player for Jaylings Esports. As you mentioned, I do commentate for EA. I am a game changer. I am just everything that you can do in FIFA, I guess you could say that I, I do. That's absolutely incredible. You're an encompassment or all encompassing of what is a football passionate, whether it's on the pitch or, or off the pitch. But how did you get into FIFA? Well, basically, as soon as I started to walk, I was basically kicking a football. So I've had passion for football since I was a kid. Um, I guess my mum's really into football. So she's basically just got football into me as, from a young age. I started in FIFA 14, just playing opening packs. I started properly playing Ultimate Team in FIFA 19. Um, and that's where I actually got signed for uh, my first org, which was No Fooks Given, which is Christian Fuchs's esports team. When I first started, I actually didn't think I was, I guess you could say, good enough um, to be at the level of actually signing for an org as a professional FIFA uh, player. Um, I ended up having 14 wins at the time on Ultimate Team, which most of the pros were getting anywhere between 27 to 30. Um, so I was like, are you sure you want me? And that's when he was just like, yes, I want to try and promote women in gaming in FIFA. And then I went on to play the pros in the team, which therefore meant that I was getting better at the time. Uh, I got better by playing them, having a coach that looked over my gameplay. And I went from 14 wins to 24 wins within a couple of months, which is really hard. Normally it's like two or three wins you can go up in that time, but that amount of wins was quite... I guess you could say sensational. So for you, you know, when you were playing, during your playing time on the pitch, were you a competitive FIFA player off the pitch as well during that time? Yeah, I, I always, whenever, whatever I do, I always put, you know, my 100% all into it. Every game, it was, you know, I had to 100% stay focused. So going into the game, 100% locked in, I was serious, dedicated. Actually, you can use your skills in real life or knowledge in real life and use that into the game of FIFA, knowing when to press the ball, knowing when to defend, knowing when to jockey, knowing when to shoot, knowing when to pass to a better player in a better position than you. Because in real life, if you if you can shoot on goal, it might not go in, but if you can, you know, switch it across the box to someone that's got basically gonna have an open goal, it does help knowing that that's what you should do and knowing the right ways to do that. Whether that be, you know, I don't know, like a driven pass, as such or whether that just be a normal a normal pass just like tap it across wherever it may be you can talk or transition that into FIFA and I think that's why I'm um, I do know quite a lot of knowledge about FIFA and also football and I can combine combine them together now I want to dive into your experience as a woman in the FIFA community how has that been for you it's very hard to be honest with you because as we know FIFA football mainly is a I guess a male dominated thing to do playing football playing in FIFA and going into it obviously when I first started in FIFA 14 it was just there was no females at all there was no one at all no one was streaming it no females playing it at all and then literally all you get is just sexism 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 you shouldn't be on this game you should be in the kitchen you should be making some food you should be doing the dishes whatever it may be you should be cleaning the house it's never like just there's no like positive at the time positivity at the time so I think as a, as a woman in the industry it, it's really, it was really hard obviously I'd say it's probably getting a little bit better now, but it does, you know, daily it does still happen. A lot of orgs signing females to their esports roster. So, you know, people are no noticing noticing it, right? Uh, people are noticing that females are being signed to these teams and it is, it is a norm. It is normal for that to happen. Um, I think we just need maybe a few more tournaments, but I think more, the more it gets noticed, obviously the more hours females put in and people see that. There's a lot of uh, Twitch streamers that do it. Now, what is something that you could either give advice or that you think has helped you um, 
combat against that. It does get to a stage where, to be honest with you, it does get to you, especially if it's constant, constant, constant. I think maybe just speak to a family member that I always tell my dad about, and he was just like, listen, just ignore it. You're, you're going you're, you're going places, you're doing this, you're doing that. Don't like hold it into yourself and like let it get you down. Tell people around you, because they can just help you. They can give you advice, friends, family, whatever it may be. But most of the time, just try ignore it. What are some of the things that you really love about the FIFA community? I think for me, it's just support they show. Obviously, they love most of the time, people that watch, they love FIFA as well, and they, they can share the same interaction with you and your thoughts as well. Um, you know, you can ask them for advice, um, you know, what, what player I should buy or, or what am I doing wrong. Sometimes they're, they're like a coach as well as such, because if you're in a game and you're losing, you can say to someone in the chat, well, what should I do? And I think it's just about the interaction with them. The, the, the majority of them are nice and, you know, they're not sexist and stuff like that. So I think it's just about the love they share with the game as well, which I can sort of interact with because that's what I like to do. Tell us a little bit more about your success within the FIFA community and the eSports world. What are some of the other big accomplishments that you'd love to share with us? I'd say the main thing, which was actually recently, actually this week of us recording this, the um, I'm actually in the squad battle feature. So as soon as you load uh, FIFA and you go to squad battles and you go to the feature, my face is there. So obviously that's something I never imagined when in, in starting in FIFA 14 that I would be, the, I guess you could say the face of FIFA as soon as everyone loads the game, they see me. Um, that's one thing I'd say that is a massive accomplishment for me, people you know loading the game and seeing me. Now looking forward, do you have any goals that you want to achieve? Yeah, I've got a few. I think for me would be to try and be the first girl, I guess, to make an event, live event, LAN event, whatever it may be. I actually have got an opportunity to do that uh, soon. I qualified for um, E-Prem for United top eight. So obviously got to win a couple of more games to win the whole thing and hopefully go for a LAN. But if not that, I think I'd love to represent my country in the game, England. Um, I'd love to maybe be one of the first females to qualify for that and be one of the first females to represent England. That would be another aim, I think, them too. And obviously in terms of everyone and I think it would just be to try and get more diversity in FIFA. I think that's another thing for me. That's always been my ultimate goal in terms of my, my personal goals. It, it, that is at the top to try and get my, more diversity in the game because, you know, that that's just amazing for more females to play the game and realise that they, sh they, they should be able to play it without any hate. So I think that's, that's at the top and then it would be for me to qualify for events because that's that's least important, important out of them too. Now, fun part, do you have anyone you'd like to give a shout out to? Shout out to Jesse Lingard, first of all, obviously for signing me, because without, I guess, signing for an org, I guess maybe the opportunities that I've come up with recently wouldn't have happened. I guess family, my dad, um, or I guess believing in me from a kid, obviously. Without belief around you, sometimes it is hard to strive for what you want to do. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much, Lisa. It has been an incredible interview and just getting to know you a bit more. And we just can't wait to see everything you're going to be able to do leading women in gaming and everything that you're out set to accomplish. So thank you so much for your time. Everyone, that's Lisa Manley. Catch you next time. PlayStation.